Okay guys, I'm going to try and do a quick instructional video here. Um, kind of show you some of the things I do and maybe it'll make a little sense, maybe it won't. Um, the truck here is the fourth Mac Granite uh, half pipe truck that I have done. Um, so I've done a few as far as these, as far as Mack trucks, I've done a lot <laughs> of others. Uh, ready mix trucks and semis and whatnot. But anyhow, uh, this started out as a blue cab. It is now white. Uh, this started out as a red box, which is now gloss gray. Um, and the box itself is actuated with a 100 millimeter 150 to 1 6 volt Octronics linear actuator and uh, as you can see I have reinforced the anchor point on the box uh, if you don't you're a fool because as much weight as I put in these boxes sometimes you will break the bottom of the box out don't ask me how I know anyway um, we'll get her back down um, we've got uh, I've got an auxiliary switch here basically just on one channel to turn the lights on and off um, I've got all the clearance lights the headlights and also the tail lights all on one auxiliary switch um, and we will shut them back off and we will go underneath the hood here Got the battery underneath the hood, we got the receiver, the switch, the 320A uh, fan cooled ESC is underneath the cab as well as the auxiliary switch. There's a lot of wiring that I've had to hide in this thing. Um, but uh, I still got plenty of room under the hood for eh, sound system if I wanted to, uh, maybe some other options. I'm powering it with a 2200 milliamp Ovonic 3S LiPo battery. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shut it off. Uh, during that little intermission, I flipped the truck upside down. And, uh, all right, now the rear axles here are inch and a quarter. They're aluminum, 6061 aluminum, uh, inch and a quarter OD, one inch ID. This part here is a uh, two by two, uh, half inch angle iron. Um, that I have taken and machined the slot for uh, the uh, up and down movement of the of the rear axle which this is a quarter inch bolt that goes through here with some pipe spacers and some washers and it's all spring loaded there is four coil springs under there as you can see there's two there and there's two in the front uh, pardon the rear axles for being scuffed and scraped but uh, these things have been run so um, just a little bit Anyway, I just finished the truck up tonight, uh, putting stuff together, but still, you know, I run test stuff, and stuff gets stuff scraped. I don't care. Uh, I'm more into functionality than beauty. Anyway, uh, you can see the steering servo in there, uh, mounted in there nicely. Uh, the ESC is mounted to the top of it, from the under on the top side. Uh, kind of all nice and tucks up underneath the, underneath the uh, cab. Um and uh it, it steers all the all the way i mean it, it hits the stops uh tires don't rub they they still turn so anyway um anyhow um hopefully i've kind of covered some of the stuff i've done i'm sure i've missed a few things but i'm a better uh i'm not a very good teacher i'm terrible at teaching so um the time i spend teaching the time i can spend building and boom, the truck is back on its wheels again. Yeah, anyway, I've kind of figured out how to pause the videos and stuff anyway. Um, yeah, uh, put some nice little uh, stainless steel extensions on the stock exhaust on here. And uh, um, I think it turned out pretty well. I'm using the white bud wheels um, that I found over the internet. Um, a couple of places, I've only found actually right now, I've only found one place that has them. And I'm not telling you. <laughs> because every time I want to go buy them, they're always sold out. So when I buy them, I buy like 10 sets. <laughs> and uh, that way I get them. Uh, yeah, I'm a hoarder.
But you know what? Today's day and age with the slow ass shipping and COVID-19 and we got people doing demo several demonstrations and uh, the whole world seems to be all screwed up. I'm going to hoard my stuff. I'm going to buy as much of it I can when I can and uh, do what I do and do what I love to do. So anyway, um, yeah, you guys have to tell me what I think. Um, uh, I put some, uh, I got some red hooks on the front, on the front there, and I've got the, you know, the tail lights. Plus, I've got the pin hitch back there too. So I've added a few little options here and there, but uh, otherwise, you know, the truck turned out pretty good. I'm pretty doggone happy with it. Um, it uh, starts, runs, drives, moves, everything happens to work, and that's great when you do it the first time. You you put the battery up, and everything works like it should. That's the way it should every time. But anyway, catch you guys later. Uh, i got to get this video sent off and get her done and and go on to building some more stuff. So have a good night, everybody.